Does impedance affect volume? Well, this question comes from Plebus in Alabama. And he writes, given two different sets of speakers, a pair of four-ohm speakers and a pair of eight-ohm speakers, um, will an amp, let's say a Sprout 100 that outputs 50 watts into eight ohms, but doubles its power to 100 watts into four ohms, produce the same volume for both sets of speakers at the same volume setting? This is a fairly common question. And what else does he have to say? In other words, are eight, wa eight ohm watts volume discounted when producing such an amp? Okay, I, I don't think we've ever done a video here in the PS Audio kitchen. This is we have a pretty decent sized break room, and this is the this is the kitchen part. So I always encourage people to come out, visit us if you're in the neighborhood, if you're flying through DIA and you have a few hours, we're about 40 minutes from the airport, and grab an Uber, hop out here, you don't need an invitation, you just come on in, as long as it's during business hours, Monday through Friday, you come, you visit us, I'll even show you the kitchen. <laughs> we'll, we'll give you a great tour, it's, it's fun. It, it, PS Audio is kind of a destination. You get to see the recording studio where they're uh, recording um, a great band right now. It's kind of cool. Okay, the quick answer is no. The volume will be identical. So let me try and explain how all that works. The volume level that comes out of a loudspeaker is a function of the voltage coming out of a power amplifier. So if it's Sprout, our, our small integrated that we so love, it doesn't matter, whatever the power amplifier is, it will output a certain amount of voltage. That voltage moves the speaker driver to make sound. The higher the voltage, the more it moves. If the voltage is going negative, it moves backwards. If the voltage is going positive, it moves forward. And the combination of forward and backward movement in response to a level of voltage is what gives us sound. So, when I play a track and I turn the level up to a certain point, that is going to produce X amount of voltage at the output of the amplifier that's going into your speakers. Now, if the speaker is eight ohms and I put in, I don't know, let's say, 10 volts of music into that speaker, it's going to take, uh, we can calculate it out, and I, I don't, I, you know, it's, it's basically it's amps times volts, but we'd have to use Ohm's law to figure out the impedance of the speaker versus the voltage, what's the, you know, how much current it's going to take to do that. Because it's all wrapped up in this, in this simple little formula that, that we use all the time called Ohm's Law, which happens to be the, the name of my uh, podcast <laughs> for those Ohm's Law listeners. But I, I, again, I don't want to make this all complicated, right? So we're going to put a certain amount of voltage out. Now, if my amplifier has enough horsepower, watts, to successfully present 10 volts to a speaker, then it will make X amount of sound. Now, that same 10 volts going into, uh, if all of a sudden I had a switch on the back of the amplifier and we went from eight to four, right? What would, what would the change in sound be? Zero if the voltage remains the same. Okay, so I'm trying to make this real simple. The voltage is what makes the speaker create the volume and it takes power to push that voltage into a speaker. And at eight ohms, it takes X amount of power, let's call it 20 watts to produce, uh, uh, don't get all wiggy on me. I, I'm just pulling this out of, I'm pulling it out of my butt. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just pulling some figures. Let's just say for 10 volts into eight ohms, it takes 20 watts, then that same 10 volts when we click the switch down to make it into a 4 ohm, is going to take 
40 watts because amps times volts equals watts and it's going to take twice the current to keep that level of voltage into the lower impedance. But like on Sprout or most any amplifier that we make, whatever voltage is presented at 8 ohms, that same voltage can easily power a 4 ohm speaker because our amps almost always double. That's a little, anyway, it doesn't matter. So uh, our amps that do 100 watts into 8 ohms will do 200 watts into 4 ohms. And that's really all you need to know. If your amplifier can double its wattage or close at 4 ohms as it does to two ohm, uh, uh, 8 ohms, then there will be no difference in volume between 4 ohms and 8 ohms. Okay? Hope that isn't too convoluted. Maybe it's time for a snack. But, hey, I can, you know what? I can eat snacks now. I went through three, three months of a diet program that I engineered myself. It's called the EAT diet, E-A-T, E period, A period, T period, which stands for eat anything. It's a diet that I engineered and designed. I lost 22 pounds. They're staying off. It's a very cool diet. And if you want, uh, look up on Amazon. You can just put Paul McGowan and you'll, I think you'll find, uh, I've got a couple of books that are 99% true, and the EAT diet. And if you do want to lose weight, it's, a, it's, it's, it's cool. It's a good, good well-engineered method that allows you to eat anything you want, even Twinkies, and lose weight. What's the secret? You gotta buy the book. <laughs> no, the secret is controlling how much you eat. And I go through that. It's a short book. It's like two hour read and, and you will be onto a flat belly. Well, close. Okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.